there we go, we're on. Right. Vehicles are pretty simple machines, in principle. A gas-powered combustion engine delivers power to the drivetrain, through the differential to the wheels, and well, you know, they go fast. Now, obviously, world-class race vehicles are a little different, and not only in the Formula One track, but also here in the desert. You've probably heard the phrase before, knowledge is power, and motorsports is all about knowledge. That means that these vehicles are significantly more equipped than your standard off-the-lot ride to offer the mechanics and the drivers more information. So my name's Richard Thompson. I'm the senior engineer on the BRX Hunter. I'd like to introduce you to a damper position sensor. What you have here is a small control rod linking to a rotary position sensor up on the frame of the race car. What that's telling us is through a mass channel, the actual damper position and ultimately the wheel position on the race car. We are feeding to the telemetry system and SEB's display at a thousand hertz, that's a thousand times a second. And what we're actually looking for is a relationship between the race car and the ground via the shock absorber. We've got a limit of 280 millimetres of wheel travel, which is controlled by the ASO and the FIA. And we've got to manage this travel to maximise traction and also comfort within the race car. And for Seb and Daniel, that's vital because fatigue plays an important part over a 12 day period. The fuel variation from a start of a stage yesterday, 450 kilometers. We start round about 450 liters on the stage and we end at something like 80 liters. So as a mass variation, that's 300 kilograms less fuel. So at the start of the stage, it's gonna be a little bit too soft because you've got the 300 kilos extra mass in the rear. And then once you get to the end of the stage, it's gonna to start to be too stiff because that 300 kilos is has been used up, burnt up by the engine. We use that data for um, analysis to prepare for the next test. Do we need to work on traction? Do we need to work on body control? Are we smashing into the bump stop too hard? So that really is an important sensor for us. And also for Seb, you know, if he's interested, he can look at the travel during the stage, but generally he doesn't. He's too busy looking out the windscreen. <laughs> There's a reason the dashboard of a cross-country rally car looks like the cockpit of a 747. These systems get pretty advanced, and they're measuring all kinds of things. This is Seb braking for a third gear corner. He's got 40 bar of line pressure. And then what we're doing now is we're reading the position sensor trace, and we're using something like 40 or 50 millimeters of suspension travel here, which is good for us to correlate to the surface, the, the roughness of the stage, and also this weight transfer that's all relevant to the brake pressure that um, Seb is uh, using at this particular moment. I'm gonna power up the race car now. It takes a little while. It's a bit like Windows in that you've got two displays, a, a power management unit and an ECU, and they take something like 10 or 15 seconds. You can see the driver's displays beating the Bosch controller for the driver and the co-driver. We're gonna wait another five seconds for the central display to go live and I'm going to change the firstly I'm going to clear an alarm because we're working on the race car at the moment during the bivouac and then scroll through to the damper page because it's a rest day and we're doing some work you can see we are actually missing some inputs but the two front damper position sensors are connected and the one that we're interested in is front right so there you can see we're actually sitting with a value of 15.6 millimeters there it isn't a screen that either crew members would look at during the race and that's why it's in the central screen so that's a common screen for for Daniel and Seb the technicians do look at it so the number one mechanic in the morning as part of his check sheet will just run through all the displays check to see if anyone's any one of those is missing if you just scroll across to the right you see brake temp we've got three caliper temp sensors one is missing so he'll go hey we need to fit a new sensor so that's the the main functionality of the display inside the cockpit it's all about learning more and that's what we're doing in Dakar 2021 we're investing in Dakar 22 and we've got to do every stage and get that data ready for next year.